Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, welcome to November. I believe we are ready for the fall. And what is it that you are doing for this season? Actually, this is my favorite season of all because the weather is changing, the season is changing, daylight is changing, everything feels cozier. And I don't know what makes you cozy. But did you know that today is National Merlot Day? Hmm. I'm not into Merlot, but I like my Malbec. And what I was thinking is there is a day for everything. And it seems like America celebrates everything. And next week, it's the great American uh, smoke out which is in honor of lung cancer and by the way I am doing a workshop uh, and it's called stop smoking through hypnosis we're gonna be doing a workshop at my office and if you type uh, 818 if you text 818-221-2797 with the word stump s-t-o-m-p which is stump on smoking um, you will come to register you will get to go on that page and you've got all the information about how to become a non-smoker uh, during my workshop you know I used to do these workshops a lot 10 years ago I used to do once a month workshop I was part of the Glendale community uh, auxiliary classes and I was teaching uh, everything about hypnosis, the power of the subconscious mind, how to drop weight and become a non-smoker, and how to boost your uh, confidence and anxiety uh, only because I believe in educating you in everything because that's what I thrive. I do a lot of self-help. I do a lot of, I get coaches, I go to seminars and everything because I like to know. So, hi, Siddha John, how are you, my dear? Today, I want to talk about a little about smoking. You know, I started smoking when I was 12 years old. Yeah, really. And in my newsletter, I shared just a tad about this, that uh, I started smoking when I was 12. And when I was going to high school, my breakfast was a can of Coke, a piece of chocolate, a banana, which I still have my banana every single day when I take my dog for a hike, and a cigarette. I used to have one or two cigarettes before I even walked in to the first uh, class in high school. Now, the clock, we reverted back and about 22 years ago, 20 years ago, I stopped smoking through hypnosis. Well, I've done a lot of things through hypnosis. The power of hypnosis is amazing. Tapping within your own subconscious to make changes. You know, I've shared that I do self-hypnosis and I've had root canals with absolutely no anesthesia. I've had a cut that needed stitches with absolutely no topical or anesthesia. I've helped so many give birth and hypnobirthing. So I've even managed my own weight, my anxiety, my stress factor. And every time I go to the hairdresser, the moment they come to do anything, I just zone out and literally I go into a self-hypnosis and I enjoy the time and allow them to do whatever it needs to so it's this beautiful state of deep relaxation and bypassing uh, the need so what is the need smoking 
by the way, I don't have a cigarette. I wish I had a cigarette so I can show you. So smoking, eating, drinking, gambling, cheating, um, all these, I like to call them something that it's an oral gratification. And when I need, when I say oral gratification, what I mean is it's through the mouth, right? Eating, drinking, smoking, vaping, and yes, some people who have uh, the use of drugs. So the part of my getting people ready to stop smoking or anything is stop becoming a quitter because word association matters a lot. The reason for that is because we are taught not to be quitters. So when we think about quitting, the subconscious mind says, well, I'm not going to quit. I was told never to be a quitter. So the subconscious mind is the one that rules it because the patterns. Now, smoking in itself, when you want to stop smoking, most of us have to have a reason. We don't just wake up and say, okay, today I stopped. Because there are people I know who have become a non-smoker and by just pure will and that is very much possible you wake up one day you say no more eating no i mean no more drinking no more smoking because we all have to eat that was my faux pas and it does happen cold turkey is valid but most of us have this emotional connection to the eating to the smoking and when you quit and you have to and you start again and you quit and you start again or you lose weight and you gain weight and this yo-yo aspect with either vaping and smoking and eating or even drinking you go on uh, on the wagon and then you fall off the wagon you know this frustration and then it creates this underlying I can't I can't I'm helpless this is hopeless and I don't know if you've ever experienced this or maybe you know someone who's going through this emotional turbulence this yo-yo factor that I talk about and that's because the addiction is an added addiction which is feeling dedicated to this element and it can be a smoking or drinking that one sip you can't leave the glass one sip in there they have to have the last sip even eating binge eating late at night in the privacy of your home in the dark hiding food you see those are all emotional connections to the thing that we believe we need and we can't do without I even had a client who said if I don't smoke I can't go to the bathroom if I don't smoke I can't function and then it was if I don't smoke I can't if I don't do this, I can't. So the word I can't becomes very much dominant with the negative habit. And why do we say negative habit? Because most people will not stop smoking unless it gets really bad. I had a client who came in and he became a non-smoker. You know why? Because he, uh, his son had a baby and his daughter-in-law was saying, as long as you're reeking with that smell of cigarettes and cigarettes are on your fingers, I don't want you touching the baby. So it became her rule and there was a lot of uh, bad blood happening in there until he said, you know what? I do wanna see and hug my grandson and I wanna be around my grandson. So I'm ready to stop smoking that became his 
reason to become a non-smoker and a year and a half later he was feeling so much better and healthier because the smoker the gambler the drinker we believe we need this in order for us to function it's a habit and i've shared so many times a habit when we do it over and over over and over and it feels good it becomes part of the routine part of the routine after a while becomes part of the behavior and the behavior gets ingrained but every single person remembers their first cigarette why we picked up that cigarette and i've said so many scenarios so in my workshop and if you text 818 221-2797, the word stump, you will go directly to the website so you can register. It's November 16 on the Great American Smokeout. And, you know, I even have a video that one of my clients, uh, she smoked almost two packs and she was dedicated to the cigarette. And in just less than two sessions she became a non-smoker why because she had to she got throat cancer and they told her they're either going to put a hole in there and she can't have radiation and go through the chemotherapy and everything while she's smoking so in hypnosis through two sessions she became a non-smoker see pain the fear factor of that was bad but the reward for her was far greater because she wanted to live she wanted to live longer and that's the reward so either the pain has to be so bad just like the pain that this gentleman was told she's not he's not allowed to go and hug his grandchild and the reward was when he became a non-smoker, he was around the grandchild and the family was so happy. He was happy. When we do something because we are so used to it and it's not giving us a sense of joy or gratification and we want joy, that's what we live for. We live for love. We live for joy. We live to be free and happy. So if I can be of help, by all means, you, we can do one-on-one -on -one session or you can come to the workshop and just understand the, the tools, the techniques that I'm going to give for you to become a non-smoker. A non-smoker, someone who wants to stop smoking, they really have that reason. They do. Um, going in and out of rehab for drug addiction. And we know so many who have gone in and out. And in my newsletter, I talk about celebrities who have stopped smoking through hypnosis and hypnotherapy because it's not a regular therapy thing hypnosis taps into the subconscious and literally shifts the emotional connection to the addiction now if you know anything about cigarettes there is this uh, yellow part which is the filter and there is this entire part that is white and if I call it the where the tobacco is right now the filter in itself in itself inside the filter is all kinds of the chemicals and everything and we're not even talking about tobacco having over 52 chemicals inside it now the thing about the filter not only if you have ever seen anyone smoke or you've smoked it yourself not only this entire thing that goes all the way to your head and the stench and everything but there is this 
the tobacco industry really knows what to do and they go after our teenagers because addiction starts at a very young age. Peer pressure, right? And the filter has a sweetener inside. Mmm. You know how years and years ago, Coke, Coca-Cola, not Coke, the smoking coat, the drug, but Coca-Cola had this a little bit of a Coke inside and the sweetener that it's very much for all the sodas and everything that when we drink, we feel so good, that sweetener in itself. There's a sweetener inside the filter. So smokers also get addicted not only to the tobacco, but also when they inhale it, that sweetener on the tongue, which is the first connection with all those small little ridges on our tongue that we call it the taste buds. And our taste buds get very much addicted to that taste. And if you know any smoker, and I know for a fact, I would not smoke just any cigarettes. It had to be my brand. And if I smoked anything else, I would either get a headache or something like that. Why? Because I, I was addicted to that one brand. Unless I'm in a place that I really wanted a cigarette and I didn't have my cigarette and I would have just picked anyone, have two puffs and had my hit, right? Just like drugs. Cigarettes is the same. Some people smoke one after another without realizing. They light up and put it down. They light up. Most smokers have a routine. We wake up, have a cigarette coffee, cigarette. It goes great with coffee. It goes great after dinner. It goes great before dinner. It goes great uh, before shower. It goes great after the gym. It goes great. You know, it's like this becomes their great buddy system. So a lot of my clients said, I don't want to smoke because I don't want to go through the withdrawal. Or, listen to this one, get headaches and I can't go through a bathroom without cigarette. I don't know how I can function. Well, allow me to say this. Hypnosis is one of the most natural and easy ways because through hypnosis, it's like a shift happens in the subconscious mind and the suggestions that are given through the state where you are so relaxed. And a state that you are so relaxed as women, when we sit in the, uh, when we go to the hairdresser and they are massaging the scalp and everything, you close your eyes, right? It's as if at that very moment, you just let go. And at that moment, we feel so relaxed. And that's how hypnosis is. It's just that state of deep oneness, focus, letting go, relaxation, and yet so aware of every essence of who you are. A state of pure, utter oneness within. And during this time, your mind is open to suggestions loving and kind suggestions and when the suggestions are there through hypnosis right as we are giving the suggestions for the subconscious mind to shift and take that craving away and reduce the craving of cigarettes and the need knowing that you can handle living life and being a non-smoker and being free from the shackles of cigarette. Did you know that one pack nowadays is approximately between $9 and 
Even yes, the most wonderful one, which people think it's the American spirit. Yes, the colors and everything that you go in, marketing. So I want this color, I want that color. We resonate with different packs and colors and sizes and everything. They will do anything that for you to walk in there and feel like you're in a candy store that damages your lungs, damages your organ, the biggest organ. Now I know I went from the state of deep relaxation and I'm bringing you back over here and that is called a technique. So that as you go into that state of deep relaxation, we bring you forward so you realize you are aware at all times. Aware of how relaxed you can get just like that and how awake and aware you are by you hearing, imagining, seeing, even smell that reek between the two fingers on the biggest organ on your body, which all the small little pores from here and here and on your lips. Have you ever seen someone who smokes three packs a day for over 10 years, let alone 20 years, let alone their lifetime. You should see all the lines around their mouth, around here. Yes, Botox can help eliminate some of that. But you know, are you going to Botox all parts of your body? It affects everything. You can't Botox your lungs. You can't Botox your health. You can't Botox your heart that pumps pure oxygenated blood. So on that state of relaxation, when we say, ask your subconscious, do you agree? And when the subconscious responds, yes, that means it is accepting the suggestions. You can hear and listen to all kinds of affirmations, but unless the subconscious mind does not agree and accept it, unless you hear it over and over, over and over for over 90 days of that same message. And I do have an audio recording, you can listen to it. But to embed that, to make the change happen from the core, it's the subconscious mind that has to say yes. What the decision maker, which is the conscious mind, which I've said it so many times, it is the parent within you. And then you've got the adult and you've got the child, all three in harmony to become healthier. And that's what's going to happen in the workshop. So if you know of anyone, who is really serious about becoming healthier. And instead of putting this, because if I unwrap that and take the filter away and take the tobacco away, no one will smoke just a piece of white paper. It's unheard of. No one will do it. They usually put the embalming solutions and tobacco and everything, thinking that they are addicted to the tobacco. Well, they are. But it's not the tobacco, but the feeling, the sensation that it's already registered in your mind, in your brain, and has affected the entire organ chemically. Hmm. What a concept. There is no guarantee in anything in life. But one thing I will guarantee, if you choose to do this, you can. I used to smoke a pack a day. As I said, at 12 years old, the cigarette was given to me as a gift, as a reward for doing something. And I was rewarded with a cigarette. So that cigarette, it felt like, oh, it's a connection. It's an emotional connection. When I was in junior high school, 
my teacher, and I love good teachers who really impact the lives of children. And I believe there is a lot of good teachers. One teacher helped me by empowering me and being truly kind and with kindness showed me a way that never ever touch marijuana again. And I never did. It was never something for me to have because she said, you're already a happy girl. You don't need that to be happy. Bingo. You know, words of affirmation, words that make an impact in our lives. And there are so many of us who have been impacted with negative words and those negative words and voices and talks stick still stick to us so words are truly powerful but with the right messenger under the right circumstances we can all thrive i guess that's why we look up to people in the old days today is november 7th there is no election happening but i remember watching a movie one of my favorite shows and the part of the message the speech to say that she is becoming a candidate for presidency the speech that she gives just the same speech that makes it made an impact in our lives was martin luther king the speech from john f kennedy when there is a speech that rose, resonates and you your hair stands up or you feel it even a vow or someone who tells you they love you or the way you are hugged when there is an emotional connection to words to touch to taste we get to embed that and we want more of that. So today, although it's Merlot Day, how about we create this sensation of the goodness of who you are and what you want your life to be. Instead of becoming a quitter, we thrive. And by all means, you have the right to make a choice, to make a change, make that transformation in your life for whatever it is that you want to create and bring forth to your lifestyle. So thank you for being a part of this. And again, November 16, a workshop for stop smoking right here at my office and we'll have the links and everything you can find it on my website heal within in the stop smoking in the events it's in the calendar it's everywhere on my Facebook Instagram and this is what I do if I can be of help to you or your loved one by all means Let's explore possibilities. God bless you and may the universal light surround you always.